hello friend welcome back in our previous video i have already discussed about the things with you how you can get all the data from to the database and how you can visible it in your site in our dashboard area right so for getting this data i before i have used that eloquent warm and as i told you friend that i uh, they have the another one as a query builder if you go to that authentic laravel official website into the official website if you go to that database into the database here you can see there is also another option for the query builder so how can actually get this data um, with this query builder in this video i will show you that things with a live example so friend you can use both of these as per your demand okay so which things is like like some of the students actually like to use that you look into what i am some of the students like to use that query builder so it depends on you both of this is correct so i will try to explain both of this to, to, to you okay then i hope it will help you a lot so before here you can see with this using that you look into what we get all that our users data from our user table and i get this data and take the things with this variable right and here i pass the data so here i also want to do the same things but right now i want to use that uh, query builder so if you want to use that query builder better i want to do I want to make it as a comment out with using that control and the backslash so i make it as a comment out and now i want to do I want to get uh, this data with uh, another one as a query builder so it should be just like that same first of all i take one of the variable as a users so make that sure whatever the variable you actually take it you have to pass it in particular compact area so i take it the same name as a users and now uh, after that if you use that query builder into the query builder here you have to do you have to use that db okay that means the database see so the database table so i name it as a table which from which table you want to get this data here you have to add it so i want to do i want to get this data from our which table if you go to our um, database i want to get this data from our this users table right so here you have to do you have to add your this user table so i simply add our this users table and from here i want to do i want to get this data so here i have to do i have to add that get in get this data means it will be get all this your data from our this user stable and it will be take this data into this variable as a this one and after that i want to get all the data and i pass this data in our dashboard page so with this compact i pass it so everything will be just like that same here that is the true format if you want to do that the same things with using that a query builder so that is our query builder code and that is our another one as eloquent orm okay friends so when you use that query builder that is also the db so you have to do you have to use this db so here before we use that our model so here i have already used that model so right now if you use that as a db we have to use it if you go to that laravel side and if you want to use you can see that is actually the db that means you have to use that um, this one that is that is our this one that is our illuminate the support facets and the db i copy it and now i want to do i want to use it okay so that is a both of this so if you want to use it here you don't need to use this one that is a you can do rm so into the you can do rm if you use that query builder you don't need to use it you have to use this one as a db okay so right now i take both of this so that is our db and then that's all that's all you have to do friend now let's check this out our result will be just like that same if you click as a save all but here it will be get some of the error because of all into the dashboard into the dashboard here you can see i added one of the this one that is our diff for humans okay it should be get some of the error i show you uh, like if you now click as a refresh now you can see it's now showing some of the error as a call to the member function the diff for humans on steam so this format is not supported for the query builder so if you want to use that as diff for humans for the query builders here you have to do you have to update that part okay so i show you here there is pretty much simple things you have to use that carbon because that is also one of the carbon package so i want to do i want to make it as a one of the fast bracket okay i block it with the fast bracket and after that here i want to use that carbon a carbon and then the backslash and then the carbon okay carbon and then the parse so that is that's all you have to do okay friends so when you use that carbon carbon and the farce and then you can actually use it 
so now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see everything is just like that same so now it's perfectly getting this data from to the database and it's now display on here so as i told you friend when you use that as a query builder so when you use that query builder so you do the query builder if you want to use as a this diff for humans this function then you have to add it manually as a carbon carbon fresh okay and when you use that as a eloquent worm then here you don't need to do anything you can actually directly access our this one that means this function i hope friend is very much clear to you i share both of these so whatever the things you choose you can choose it for your project so in our next video i'm going to discuss about how can create some of the model and also how can create some of the migration file so step by step friend everything will be very clear to you so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video